Let's just get this all sent to the Discord real fast. Let me pull up the stream. Oof. <clears throat> okay. Production is running smoothly. That is great to hear, Dad. Hey, C Baz, what's going on? Oh, uh, you know what? Quick question between us, between us three. <clears throat> well, you know, so you know, we all worked on Machine of a Sea Baz with Jurassic Island, Deck, Helix Wars, and you know, me with Hell Creek and blah 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 on my end. Um, when it comes to shooting them, uh, when it can, when it comes to shooting them, Machine of us. Or at least for us, what would be the hardest dinosaur to work with? For me, it's always been the raptors. It's always been hard to get them to do specifically what I wanted because they, every time the raptors are on screen for me, they have to do something sp very specific. It's not like with the T-Rex when the T-Rex has to be there and be big and bad. It just has to be a big, bad monster. It has to be terrifying, raw, you know. But the raptor, no, it has to be doing something specific at all times, like climbing the fence. Pack, um, pack attack this trike, uh, you know. <clears throat> yeah, the raptors and the small carnivores are the hardest. Then I figure it's that way, because just like I said, you need them to do something specific. Death needed velociraptors, yeah. Okay, so basically we're all in the green. It's the Raptors are the hardest one. I don't know why that sound like it was right. But like Steve was saying, it's just something about the small carnivores. I don't know what it is about them. They're just difficult, I guess. They dare to be different. Forget this is a a habrito facility. <laughs> but what is the problem? Velociraptors. Velosa Velosa what? Let's see, can I make a small concrete cut real quick? Decoration. I haven't made any videos for DW2, so I can't speak for all the new species. Ah! They kind of operate all within the same means, like. The only thing that separates them now is the fact that they have um, different social animations. That's pretty much it. Well, not so just social animations, but animations in general. <clears throat> just to be distinguished from each other. No, I don't want that one. This one. This is what I was looking for. Something like that. Yeah. Wait, is this one bigger? Damn, that would be a perfect fit. I don't see why that can't work. That is literally a perfect fit. <clears throat> it's only because the corners are touching. 
That's crazy. Ah, uh, that's so fickle. That's actually kind of irritating. See what else we can fit in there. Maybe a crate with small crates. Yeah. Wait. Just one. Uh, yeah. Wait. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. What y'all know about that finagling, chat? What y'all know about the finagling? The ever so slight finesse. Yeah. <clears throat> Jimmy! <laughs> Ow. I, I hurt my eye. Don't ask how, but I hurt my eye. Shaking my head that violently. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. The fish. Okay. Oh my god, yes. Oh. Well, how do you do there? Wait, hold on. <clears throat> In my Baron Samney voice. Uh, <clears throat> Hello there. I really cannot wait for you all to see this episode. You know what? You get me pumped, Deck. You get me pumped. Because I, I have not even remotely started anything related on to the finale of Hell Creek Park, but if it's been like how the other episodes have been, I'm going to end up wanting to do my finale as soon as I see your episode. So we, we're we going to see it. It's Roland, RJ, Muldoon, get on to a big adventure. <laughs> the, the big hunt. So I'm real good. See, that's good to hear. I'm glad you're doing real good. How is everybody doing? I'm glad to hear you're doing good, Gabby. But how are you doing, um, Seabass? How you doing, Dad? I like to hear that people are doing good. I, I love to hear that. I feel like something else is missing from this. What what is missing from this? Because really, I do, I want to get to the park. We make the enclosures and put the dinosaurs in there. And, uh, you know what? I, I'm trying to hang in there. I'm not going to even lie to y'all. I've been kind of like, I don't even want to say down to the dumps, but I've been like feeling a little bit disappointed lately because uh, I've been trying to get my own place for like a good minute now ever since... I got out of the Hurricane Clarissa situation. <laughs> so I've been trying to get uh, into my own spot. And it was looking promising for a minute. It was this nice little house, like 15 minutes away from uh, where I grew up at. It would have been, you know, straight, simple commute to the job. I find this apartment. Uh, two bedrooms that I could have um, used. It, it took cats. You know, I got a little uh, cat named Wiss. That's my little buddy. He my little whiskey buddy. Um, that ended up falling through. I was supposed to have a tour to check it out yesterday, but somebody ended up getting that apartment. I was, and that was even more closer to the job because it was right next to the expressway. So it had been a straight hop on, like two or three minutes on the expressway, hop off, I'm at the job. And it's like five minutes from where I grew up at too. So it, it was literally the perfect spot, at least to start off. But, you know. Yeah, these times is hard too, man. These times is definitely hard. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, well, I got a cat. I got Wisp back in 2021. Yeah, 2021, because this August coming up will make it three years I've had him. And he'll be four this August. Yeah, I saw him in the pet store. Um, I was on my break at work, I saw him in the pet store. And I was like, I'm going to come back for you. I can't get you right now because I literally have to go back to work. But I will come back for y'all. Like, what time do y'all close? They're like, we close at, I think they said they close at like 4. Yeah, they, they yeah. for some reason they said they close at 4 that day. I, I can't remember if it was a Friday or not. But it was Petco. And they're like, we close at 4. And I got off work at 3.30, raced my behind up there, and brought Wiz home. 
Yeah, yeah, whiskey a baby. He, he a mischievous little monk, though. He an orange tabby. He a mischievous little monk. And Dex says, I've been kind of sick for the past week. It's not COVID, and work's been piling on. However, I must press on to finish this up. No, I know that exact same feeling. Uh, I had the flu a few months back. I think this was before the turn. This was either... No, this wasn't. This was, yeah, January. It was definitely before February. So it was January. I caught the flu. I had the meanest fever. Like, I was fine that whole day at work. And then as I got off the bus, I was walking in my car. I started feeling extremely cold. Next thing I know, I'm down. I got I got a fever and everything. I sweated that fever out that whole night. It was so tough trying to sleep. My whole body was in pain. Warm tea helps a lot. You know what? I second that. I second that. Gambit is right. Drink some tea. Um, I'm fond of peppermint tea myself when I'm sick. Like when I'm not sick, I, I you won't see tea me. You won't see tea nowhere near me. I have to be sick to drink tea. I guess because I can't really taste it. Ooh, we can just maintain this current head, and that'd be great. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dopeness. Now it's just all about if I want to continue this pattern. Like, oh, it lets me continue the pattern. Why not? I mean, if it's letting me do it, you know what I'm saying? Like, shoot. yeah. See that? Don't look bad. That don't look bad. That's nice. Right now, it's just an aesthetic. Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's an aesthetic. Sorry to have those. I had COVID on Christmas week because the guys tested me. Oh, man. The guys are always testing us. He says the <laughs> Gavin, he's a tabby. It's the tabby in his blood. That makes him just so like you be loving. He's a sour patch kid. That's exactly what he is. He's one minute he's sour, the next moment he's sweet. <laughs> he's a poor Diego. I had to put up. What was it? How was that? Cause I that'd be dope getting to uh, hang out with Diego. Cause I plan to travel a lot uh, more often. Tabbies are definitely built different. He heard some cats fighting outside the other night, and he literally thought he was gonna hop out the window and just jump in the middle of that. I'm like, no, no, like you, you, you're a house cat, Whisk. You don't go outside. You're not, you're not ready for that type of lifestyle yet. Warm showers and soup. Oh, I love soup. I, you know what? Spring isn't quite here yet. We got like another week. I say get some good chili in. Some chili and some Campbell soup. Because that weather up here, the weather been fluctuating. It's been cold and it's been warm. Right now it's been consistently warm. Like it was 70 today. It's always nice when I'm at work, but then when the weekend hits, it wants to get all. Blah, 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 blah. So I can't enjoy it. Let me just see how this going to look. I'll put some feet behind it. That don't look bad. It don't. That don't look bad. All things considered. Yeah. Oh, welcome to my messed up octagon. Like, it's the worst octagon to ever octagon. And I'm still trying to figure out how the heck it ended up like that. Like, because all the pieces are, like, supposed to be two. That, that's two. You know what? I think I might see it. I think I can see. Focus on it from above, shall we? Huh, that's my cousin hitting me up. Oh man, so you're talking about crossovers. Polygon is a polygon. Exactly. As long as the polygon polygoning. Everything's go steady. But yeah, no, because I understand Dave's talking about you got to press on. I've been actually trying to um, 
force myself to stay in a creative mood because I could fall out of a creative mood real easily and it'd be real hard for me to get back into it. Like, um, like with my art, like drawing, I've been making sure I've draw, I don't draw every day, but I've been making sure to draw almost every day. Then there is, then there is my YouTube channel streaming and doing stuff like that I'm, i need to make sure i'm staying consistent and i still actually dabble in the art of fan fiction actually uh i actually f yeah i can't even lie i actually forced myself to update one of my fan fictions just because i really want to get it finished it's a whole bunch of them i still need to finish but i really want to finish this one Fanfic, gang, gang, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what's interesting? You know what's funny? I stumbled upon the fanfic world by complete happenstance. Like, um, the, the year. Okay, let's let's go back. The year is twenty ten. It's twenty ten. I'm on break from art school because I had attended the Illinois Institute of Art. Uh, right now, I was I freshly started attending it. It was I think spring, I believe. And I'm just chilling. I got the um, the break. It's spring break. That's why it was spring break. So I'm just chilling. I'm in my room um, on my PS3. And this is back when PlayStation had access to the internet. And you can use it to read stuff. And that's what I would normally do. Like I would, yeah, I would be using my PlayStation to literally read because I got this big dumb TV. And the letters are just really big dumb and giant and in my face. So I'm just scrolling and scrolling to read. Hey, sis. I'm just scrolling and scrolling and reading. And then I come across this one story. It's a Kim Possible story. I forgot the name of it, but the it was right wrote, wrote it was written by an author named No Drugs. And it was a story about how Draken and Shigo was conspiring to destroy Kim's life, like, and they succeeded. They they fucking ruined her life, right? Like, they drove her to like borderline, or not even borderline. They they took her to like, they took her to like the deep ends of depression. And I enjoyed the heck out of that story. I was like, I need to know is there more good stories like this that people are writing? And I, I uh, it wasn't on. Thing funny thing is, I don't. The version of I read wasn't on fanfiction.net, but I think it had a link to it. Because that's how I ended up finding fanfiction.net. And then I got introduced to the world of Kigo, and I am a big Kigo shipper, which is Kim and Shigo. I'm a big Kigo shipper. Because I, I really like Ron with Yori, the ninja girl. Like, that made, I don't know, it's something about them that just clicked. But I've wrote, well, I guess wrote, but I've written a lot of stories for them. I have a, I have two Alien vs. Predator um, and Kim Possible crossovers. One Jurassic Park Kim Possible crossover. Then I did a God of War inspired Kim Possible alternate universe and that was my most popular story. That story slapped. Like people were eating that story up. It got to the point that when that there was they were so into reading it that when I had started the the sequel to that God of War one, <laughs> they was like, "So you just going to end the first one like that? You're not just going to continue? How dare you?" They was somebody got bad at me for uh, ending the first story on the cliffhanger, and then when he saw there was a sequel, he like, "I didn't know that you read a sequel or was start or was writing a sequel. I I apologize for my earlier outburst, but the one I'm working on now there's technically two. <clears throat> and one I call is anything's possible, and you're gonna have to remind me to share it to uh, Gamby. You're gonna have to remind me to share these, share these link, the links to these two in the uh, in Diego's server, because I'm really proud of these two. Like I'm really proud of these two. Anything's possible only has two chapters, and I still have to finish that one. But the other one is uh. 
It's called King of the Monsters. It's a Godzilla Kim Possible um crossover with a little with elements of Pacific Rim um added into it. Like the monsters have categories and stuff like that. And the mechas are piloted kind of similar to uh the mechas in the in the Pacific Rim universe. But that one has 19 chapters. That was the one I just recently updated, and that one's going that was going strong. Like people are eating that one up too. But man. You know what? I might I might jump into the Sonic one. I might jump into the Sonic one, Gambit. Honestly, I might. Helix Swords is a fan fiction. <laughs> you know what? Do Machinimus count as fan fictions? I've tried writing Lego fan fictions. How'd that turn out? But yeah, I do Machinimus count as fan fictions? Uh, you know what? I remember Prima said Spinal Raptor. Let's let us let us see Spinal Raptor. Spinal Raptor. You know what? Here's a fun. Here's a fun little thought. When let's put some water here, right? We're gonna say that at one point this used to be higher before the lake receded some, but we got retention ponds or whatever you want to call it, retention lake. So, what I want to do, I want this. I just want this to go around the whole facility. Boom. Creating river systems is low key one of my favorite things to do. I love river systems. I'm gonna push this in because it don't need to be yeah, large. Tell them large Marge sent you. Ah uh, yes. Uh, okay, so yeah, they do count as uh, fan fans. You know what? They, you know, I can kind of see how they do. I just want to be sure because just because it may fit the category doesn't mean it does. But at the same time, it's kind of tomato tomato. Uh, I'm gonna put the spinal raptor and stuff up there, so I'm gonna try to make that a little bit marshy, but we'll, we'll see. Right. Spot, 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 Push it in without connecting. Those are actually kind of fine. I'm gonna push this in. I kind of wish I could thin this. Ah, oh, I wish there was a fine tool for this. That's why I'm kind of excited for Planet Zoo. Like that whole memory thing or whatever they're calling it, they're doing with it. That that was disheartening, but I'm just glad to be getting the game at that point. You know, I'm grateful that Frontier is like, here you go, here here you go, you lovely folks. I'm like, oh. Like Frontier is not a bad development company. I just like it that they started listening to us a little bit more. You're about to fight a real Super Saiyan. <laughs> SKG and I briefly discussed a Sonic X DBZ fanfic. I think I remember that. You know what's funny? My brother shared with me um, this is Sonic versus Goku comic somebody is making, and it slaps. It like absolutely slaps. I'm loving it right now. Ah, dang it. Okay, that's too close to that. So on this end, oops. No, I can't remember. Is any of the music from the first game in this game, by the way? I want to say yes, but I honestly can't remember. 
Sometimes the background music feels like it, but I don't think this is JW1. I think the music that's playing right now is uh is uh the, the species field guides. Yeah. Okay, so that's a little that's a little river-ish system, and I can expand upon it more if need be, make little, you know, inlets and outlets and you know whatever we might need. Oh, let me tell my cousin on the screen just in case she wants to watch. Hold on, let me. Hold on, I gotta see this real quick. Hold on. Okay, we're back. That was fun. I had to look at that. That was fun. Okay. Nazo Unleash. Oh. I'm not gonna lie. I watched that like two weeks ago, out of just pure nostalgia. I, I sat me, and my brother, my nephew down. And we watched that out of just pure nostalgia. Oh, Nazo Unleashed was life. You know, it still is life. That is my shit. Oh my god, I love that. If anything needed to become absolute canon, it's Nazo. I think Trunks is neat. Yeah, okay, so that's why Dex said you're gonna fight a real Super Saiyan. <laughs> Trunks is his favorite character, but uh, I can't blame him. Trunks is a certified badass. Okay, so how I want to do this is I want so it'll be a fish feeder just for like uh, starters and of an example. If I can find it, there we go. Fish feeder, boom. And I only gonna need two enclosures for this because Spinal Raptor and Velociraptor can go together, uh don't you know? And since Spinal Source is gonna be in another enclosure, how about we make sure it has this going forward? I mean, kind of was get the fallen kingdom kind of torch treatment during combat being lifted and thrown into the air. Most of the music is recycled. See, okay, I'll, I'm not. I can't hold you that. Like, I haven't heard uh, one single song from a track from the first JWE since this game came out. So I've literally forgotten how some of the sound, except for the T Rex release animation. Well, I don't think they changed that on here either.
I'm gonna get a Spinosaurus to about here. Cause I figure it'll need a wider berth. Cause it's a larger animal. It's phantasmal. Please. Is Spinosaurus releasing one batch or is it still releasing two? That's about as much space as they're gonna get. I mean, they're smaller. They don't need that much space. Uh, okay. Because it's gonna need more wetland. They release one at a time? Okay. Also, have you noticed on the fight between the Conotaurus attempting to hunt Sino, you can see bite marks and scratches from the Conotaurus was kicking it away. Really? Wait, Nazo was supposed to be canon? More. I need to know more, Gambit. Like that one meme of that one guy. What do you mean by that? I need to know more. What do you mean? It was supposed to be canon. Why didn't it get canon? Who stopped it from, from, from being canon? Because that's who needs to get their ad with. Well, I'm stopping from being canon is the person I need to get their ad with. He was scrapped? Like Scrappy Dude? I really wish I could make these small. I'm... I'm just going to have to, like, come in between it. Yeah. Can you, like, how small can I get it to where you look like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's how small I'm actually talking. Oops. <laughs> Forgive me. There we go. And it kind of is, he kind of got the little, little splotches in between. That's what I'm trying to go for. Oops. I might leave some of these bigger because, you know, in a swamp or wetlands in general, different sizes, varying sizes. How's the park going? It's coming along really well, Miguel. Um, we're working on Spinosaurus and Spino Raptor at the moment. I'm just trying to make this feel marshy. Yeah, Triceratops and Stegosaurus cohabitate, or do they still like? I think they still dislike each other. I think they still got like beef. I mean, if two herbivores don't like each other, is that really called beef? All right, Gambit. <laughs> nice, nice. It'd be so much easier if I could make this so much smaller, I could just like dot, 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 dot it. And I wish I could add fog to these. That'd be so nice if I could. If I remember correctly, Spino don't need that much in the way of foliage. Like, Spino is actually really kind of like chill. I think it needs sand. Don't Spino need sand? The Sp well, Spino Raptor requires sand. I think all three of them need sand. Don't Velociraptor need sand too? Don't the whatchamacallit tell me? If I go here, don't it tell me again. Yo, Diego! Gamma's gone. I can call her a nerd now live on air and there's nothing she can do. <laughs> 
<laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't tell me what it needs. Nope. So I'm gonna have to look in the hatchery for that. But before we go any further, I guess so. Shoot. So I got like breakout songs. I I want there to be chaos if I don't get this right the first time. Look at this. You don't look like Aladar no more. I'm happy and sad at the same time. You know what? Life has been life has been life and life has been life in Diego. Uh, I was just telling Gambit Deck and everybody how I was trying to like get this house and then like that didn't work and then I tried uh, getting this apartment in. Uh right as I was getting set up for the tour, somebody bought it. I was like, really? Oh yeah. Somebody out there just don't like me right now. Spinal Raptor, you need it don't need sand. It needs fish and meat. Huh, so it doesn't hunt. Interest. I mean, it can hunt, but it doesn't hunt. It prefers not to. That's interesting. Velociraptor. You don't need it. You just need open space and force. And Spinosaurus. Oh, good. Just open space and force. Okay. 40% water, so we're going to have to see. We're going to have to see. Uh... What we finna do is randomize the Spinosaurus, so... Huh. This, this, that, and that. That, 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 and that. I feel that. Uh, you know what? It's, it's, <clears throat> okay, so the hybrids are the same as they were in the first game, but they have glow in the dark options for their skins. Now, that is pretty much it. I'm not even going to act like it's anything fancy or anything new or anything different. Um, so out of the loop with the JW stuff, I don't, you know, I don't blame you. Um, besides a mobile game, this is pretty much it. Uh, there's talk that Jurassic Park survival might not be happening. I forgot what's going on with the studio, but now there's a chance it might not be happening. Like, imagine announcing the game, showing us this this thing that we've been aching for for the past, at least the past 20 something years. And now it might not be happening. Now. It might just it, it, it might just be that a speculation like. That that's so disheartening. Why wouldn't it not happen? Uh I gotta I gotta go back. I was I was driving when I was listening to I think Best in Slot talk about it. But it, something was going on with the um, the developers behind the game. I think they got bought out by somebody else or the or the game is being transitioned to another studio. It's something about it's something about the devs either changing their names or going to another studio or something like that. And something about financial loss. It sounds similar to what happened to Arc 2, if I'm being honest. Uh about like fun not having the funds for the game or something like that. That's what I, that's what I did take from that. It sounded like it was in a similar situation to Arc 2. Yeah, see, this is why I didn't get my hopes up for this game. Well, see, I don't want to say there is no JP survival, Miguel. That it's just a, it's looking that it like it might not happen now. Diego, you lucky? I gotta bathe my dog. Be right back. <laughs> Okay, so we got a good-looking Spino skin. Actually, this one fits. This fits the swampy texture and everything. Yeah. Okay, what do I do? And it, it's kind of sad, though. Hey, what's up, Stu? Oh, wow. We got two good um swampy boys. We got two good swampy boys. Oh, man. I don't know if y'all watch Ed, Ed and Eddie, but... 
Who remembers the Monkey Boys? Monkey, Monkey, Monkey Boy. That's what. These are the Monkey Boys. <laughs> I'm gonna knock them out real quick. Those patterns are really good for spinos. You know what? Yeah. Randomize and. Hold on. And yeah, those skins were completely randomized. They fit really well. You know what, it might actually behoove me to use this attraction for the Spino in water. It might not be happening. The hitbox for this is so, it's bigger than what it needs to be. So it looks like we're going to be using this one because it's smaller. Height. Uh, they knocked out. They knocked out. I just want to see how they like this over here. We're going to see how they like this real fast. Get over here. Because Cause it's mostly water, mostly open space. They should be fine. Never like that you can't put the log thing in the water. You know what? You're right. You're right. Like, I mean, who cares if the underground tunnel goes underwater and they tunnel up, you know, it, in today's society, it's pretty much what we do. Like we find, we will find a way to make that work. And besides, it's just a game. Like, they don't, it's okay to break that form of realism just to have the log sit in the water for a really good, like, set piece. Yeah. Other than that, ugh. Now, where the fish? Uh, the fish over here. Speed it up and get them over here. I just want to see how they like it. Oh, yeah, I forgot you could slow down. Oh, yeah, they got the intelligent trait, so we have to be careful. We have to be careful. They have the intelligent trait. So that being said, I probably will have to move them. I will have to move this. We'll see. If they break out, that means I'm going to have to move this because of the, uh, the guests and whatnot. But as they explore, they seem to be liking it, though. This is one of the reasons I play with mods, so I don't have to deal with hitboxes. Yeah. Yeah, the mods definitely, uh, that's one thing I'm jealous about. That the mods got, y'all don't have to deal with the annoying hitboxes of the uh, map. What are you finna do? Are you finna break out? Are you finna hit the fence? Mucky boy? Oh, mucky boy. He's hitting the fence. Go find your fish, but mucky boy. Like, there's no reason for him to want to break out right now. What are y'all doing? Y'all supposed to be forming y'all territory. Oh my god, they're trying to break out. Uh, this is the heavy duty fence for Jurassic Park. The Jurassic Park heavy duty fence. Okay, okay. Yeah, go explore your paddock, man. 
that's crazy how they're trying to break out and they haven't even explored the uh the thing yet they put explore their territory if they're not satisfied with it then try to break out they don't even see how much water and what and stuff they got that's crazy maybe it's the challenges straight breaks out to reach nearby food guests and other dinosaurs but you get plus 20 appeal I'm gonna put you over here. I want y'all to know y'all got food. Jeez, it won't take for long him to break out. If the it, the thing is, they haven't even explored their whole thing yet. Prime, they trying to break out? That's crazy. Uh, that's super crazy. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it's because of this that they want to break out. Because this is attached to the guests, and they know ooh, people we could eat them. Uh, anywho, that being said, not looking great. I mean, with those level fences, they won't be able to break out. Ah, I will hope so. I think actually Spinosaurus can because I think they I think Spinosaurus is a security level six, right? So I know the way it works in this game, they have to be either the same level of the fence or higher than the fence to break out. And I know the fence is a level five. I think Spinosaurus is a level six. I just want them to see that they got food. But yeah, you're right either way, Stu. Either they won't break out or it's just going to take a long time. I'm glad I turned the injuries off because they end up hurting each other. Uh, hurting themselves back in their heads against the fence. I don't got time to keep transporting them back and forth from the uh, medical unit. So that was a smart thing to do at least. Good job they just bored. They wouldn't be if they go eight. Oh wow, they need two fish feeders. Okay. Y'all are greedy. Who needs two fish feeders? When y'all part rock your when y'all share for one. Oh. Bro, I love the Spinosaurus model. I don't care if it's outdated. This is my favorite re reconstruction of it. What the Oh yeah, they did fight, didn't they? Yeah. They pieced each other up a little bit. And even better now. Now they shouldn't try to back back out. Oh boy, look who's chasing clout. Who are you talking about who's chasing clout? You? You chasing clout, uh, Clay? Cause they showed up to my screen? That sounds about right. The dinosaurs proceed to fight, having that one individual always at the medical facility. Y'all remember when the game first came out and like you had dinosaurs that had a social limit, right? And they kept beating up their friends and then breaking out because they need their friends. But they kept sending them to the hospital. And so they would get mad because their friends wasn't in there with them because they kept beating them up. It was so annoying. <laughs> the game was like, I lived. Did the dog go enjoy his bath? All right. Um, oh, shoot. That fence was actually starting to weak. Take care of that, will you? Let's work on the Velociraptor. So. Uh, I want to do something different. No, I don't want the Jurassic Park one. Yeah, I want this one. I want this. And I think it works because we have this, right? So I should be able to connect that to this. So we're going to put you right here.
Oh no? Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't use that control center. Mm. I didn't use the control center for that. I would need this one. This actually is a nice way to get around that intelligence trait. So if that don't work, I'm probably going to have to use these. These, is, those would be a nice way to get around that intelligence trait. Uh, we need more trees. Yes, trees. Ah, uh, eggs. Put some there. And then some trees there. Kind of there. Spot there. Kind of a feeder. And then a goat feeder for the raptors. Which raptors should we use? Uh, I'm fond of the JP3 raptors, but. Which raptors do y'all what like what skins y'all wanna see? We, well we want you wanna do Jurassic Park, Lost World, three, JW. Because they're um they're ink they're the the evolution two skins are ass. They were ass in the ass game. JP three raptors, the best ones. Hands down, the best ones. Use Lost World and JP3. We'll see if we can get a mix. JP3. We'll see if we can get a nice mix between the two. JP3 ones are cool and fit the environment. Uh, yep. See, that's why I like using them too, because I'm usually always building on maps like this. I don't see how they can make bad Raptor scans across two games, though. Like, how did y'all manage to do that twice? Like, the fact that they were straight doo-doo butter the last time around did not, uh... Oh, yeah, I forgot I did this because I was making Raptor Spot thing, but, like, that didn't sink into y'all brain the last time? Hold on, what are you at? 2001A, that's the mail. 2001B... Okay, so we're going to see what we get. We're going to see what we get. And I'm going to make two batches here. I just want to see the mix. Let's see. Lost World. Did we get a nice mix out of this batch? Okay, so we really didn't. So... We got a female raptor there. Yeah, and a male raptor there. I can't remember. I think these are the females, so that's a female. And that's a male. Okay. So now I want a male. Another male. So this is another female. Okay. Okay, so it's, it's actually kind of pretty even. And uh, we got eight raptors cooking. That ain't bad. Where's the facility?
JP3 Raptors just slap. They just absolutely slap. If there's one thing I can say about JP3 is that the dinosaurs designs were top notch. Like, the, uh, the Bracky looks good, the Anky looked dope, Ceratosaurus was phenomenal, then you got the Raptors. Spinosaurus actually has a really dope uh, design too. And in the right lighting, you can see like the diamond pattern it has on its sails. The more I see JP3 Raptors, the more I appreciate it, right? <laughs> Puppies. <laughs> Puppies! There we go. Okay. Oh, so it's only seven. Right? I could have sworn I made four. Yeah. Right? No, no, you were from the other batch. I'm confuddled. They are. They were pretty damn good. Which confused me when, you know, Jurassic World came out because the only designs I really like from there, uh, from them, um, is Blue and I think Echo. Because Charlie was just. Charlie, if I remember correctly, Charlie is the green stripe one, which is basically the Lost World Raptors, but they're green. How many Spino Raptors will you put in there with them? Three or four. Three or four, whichever the max. I think three is the max. So whatever the max is for them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I ain't gonna lie, that'd be hilarious if there is an eighth raptor out there and I just missed it. And I want to make sure these dinos are born with their luck skins. Do they have one luck skin or two? Because I've only seen the glowy pink one. Might we watch JP3 after this? Nah, I don't blame you. I like to go on a park bench myself. Like, and that's the thing. Like, I've been, I could binge the Jurassic Park trilogy, but I don't have an urge to do the same thing with the World trilogy. I guess because it's a weird disconnect between each movie. And and it don't sit well with me how you transition from world to fallen kingdom to dominion and the transition from fallen kingdom to dominion. Ooh. Whew. Disconnect is an understatement. That's is, that is a total cross wire. I feel like they crossed so many wires, like they just let somebody come in and just started just putting putting this here, putting that there, release the spinal raptors. The spinal rape. Oh, the spinal raptors. Oh my god. Oh they do Lux. Oh, so I only got one okay, one skin. That's Lux. Okay. Yeah, so you're gonna have a Lux skin. And We'll just randomize your pattern, see what you come out with. Makes sense. I plan on watching them soonish. Just want to read the book first. You know what? I finished the Jurassic Park novel. I have to actually get into the Lost World novel. Uh, I was like, I think three chapters in, I believe. The last thing I remember was what's his name? They found a corpse. And then some people from the government showed up to burn the corpse. Um, I think if I remember correctly from watching one of Clayton Fiorini's videos, I think that was supposed to be one of the listings. So they make a batch of three.
See y'all next round. Are you had no gambit? I gotta go to bed super early, but I'm glad I caught it. I am glad you guys showed up too. I am. I'm glad you guys showed up. It's really dope having y'all all here. And I understand because I have to, I have to get up at like 4 o'clock in the morning. At least I want to set my alarm. But yeah, I understand. Get your rest, Gambit. We appreciate having you here as always. Damn. I might not need the mono round now since I might just be using these. Speed that up. Ah. The way they have the helicopters work here now annoys me. Like, it annoys me to no end. No, of course, the rowdy bunch is fighting. I'm also glad to be here and miss being on the lives. Man, I miss having you here too, Miguel. Now, if I remember correctly, though, Miguel, aren't you the one that uh, decided that we should call the Brachiosaurus Burnt Remains? Okay, let's see how the, um, the watch of the look. But I want to see them at night. It took me that long to, to get here. That's crazy. Yeah, I want to see him at night. <laughs> Poor burnt remains. <laughs> okay, Amazon and Lux, Yukon River and Lux, Champlain and Lux. We gotta have a green, a blue, and a possible gray. Speed it up. All right. So after these guys, who who who's the next hybrid we're putting in here? Then after these guys, because we gotta make sure there's room for all for all seven hybrids. Asset transportation complete. I still name my brachiosaurus. I have burnt remains. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Look, we can't let the name die. We gotta we gotta keep the name alive. Burnt remains for life. Stegoceratops, okay. Oh, I missed that roll. I hope you know what you're letting yourself in for, because there's not much room for error when it comes to the spinal raptor. What do you expect? We're talking about a Spinosaurus and a Velociraptor all rolled into one. <laughs> kind of depressing name, but kind of funny. <laughs> I forgot what park I was building when uh, Miguel was like, oh, you got to name this one Burnt Remains. I was like, damn. I thought the same thing to Stu. I was like, that's kind of fucked up, but I love it. <laughs> you know, I do too. I do too. Like, I like this on the Spinal Raptor, though. Like, I love that we got this pause feature. Yeah, so you get a look at it. Like, I like the little intricacies. Oh, my God. Oh, the mouth. I love the little intricacies of it. Like, the little um, dotting along the jawline. Like, I kind of wish I would have stuck with it a little bit more. Like, accented it. Like, Along the arms and like hands and like down the leg, the thighs to the uh, claws. Like you know, it didn't. It won't have to be like a, a linear like pathway down like his arms and legs, but like something like like how it looks on the along the jaws, just sprinkling along down the the arms and legs. Yo, what's up, SSD? What's going on? How you be? But Spinal Raptor's design is glorious. Like, honestly, it's the only hybrid I wanted back from the original game. Just because it looks and sounds dope. Now, I must leave as well as I have stuff to do. All right, Stu, as always, glad to have you here. Appreciate you. Looking forward to catch you in some more streams. And so the glow is lit. It is. It, it, I really like it.
Oh! Oh, oh, it almost broke out. Okay, so they can climb fences. That's good to know. <laughs> well, didn't know they can do that. Oh, that's not transportation. Oh, man. Imagine if they would have broke out. Let's see what we can see from here. Hold on. Just want to see how this looks. I'll go highlight. Damn, stun is always that large? Oh. Jesus. It is really cool. Yeah, that caught me by surprise, though. I figured that they wouldn't be able to do it because I think Spinal Raptors, Spinal Raptors is technically a medium carnivore, I believe. That's why I didn't think they'd be able to do it, but I forgot them things at the top stops them from climbing out, thankfully. That would have been dope to see them do, though. Because I believe Endoraptor climbs out, too. Okay, so Stegoceratops, I think I want to put its enclosure around here. So it have to be a Stegosaurus on this side, Stegosaurus in the middle, then Triceratops on the other, because they can't co-mingle. Let's just get them over here real quick. I just want to see how they how they do. It does. Is it in the Raptor medium too? And I think he climbed. Oh yeah, Primal said it does. He does. Yeah, and the raptor is definitely a medium therapy in this game. And I think until recently, it was the only one that climbs out. Unless Scorpius Rex climbs out too. Does the pug climb too? Ah, oh God, I can't believe I got to put the pug in the park. Damn. They also climb, okay? Yeah. What is in the Scorpius Rex's makeup? What is it? Part T Rex, Raptor, and Scorpion? Like, I really want to know what his makeup is. I don't either. I don't either, Miguel. It's because it looks like a pug. His face. It's the stuff of nightmares. Pretty dope icon. Missing fish, you'll find it if you just go look for it. They, like, they go find a fish, that'll be fine. All right. Like, I know this is not going to obscure the view, but this is pretty much just a separational baseline. That's interesting. I didn't think it was going to cut off the water. Did it cut off the water? It looks like it did because of the snow. I think it did. Like you can still kind of see it, but not see it. That's weird. And because of Stegoceratops, Stegosaurus, not that, let's use a slightly less powerful fence. Let's get a little naive here.
Now I wonder if the Dominus Rex can also fit in the Raptor Spinal Raptor enclosure. You know what? It would if Spinal Raptor wasn't in there. Cause I think it'll fight Spinal Raptor. Stegosaurus, Stegosaurus, The only acceptable skin to use. The 91 variant. I'm so glad the 91. I'm so glad the 97 variant has different skin patterns now. We need to see these. So give me that. Give me that. Give me that. That, that. That. Oh my god, so many to choose from. That is a gray one. It's pretty much all these. You can try it out. Play God if you will. <laughs> Probably part camel or something. I know I wouldn't put it past it. It's a weird creature. Okay, yeah, I want that one. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Death Valley. Okay. Oh, we got Swalbert and Rana. Oh, no. Papu Rana. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I had a mix of the skins. Uh, Doritos, actually. Cool Ranch. Cool Ranch Doritos. I do apologize if it's loud in y'all ears. I'm trying, I move the control away from my mouth when I chew. Bear your own vision of the Scorpius Rex. I want to see what it might look like. You talk about like jar it out. Oh, nice not. No, it's not loud. I was just curious. Okay. Okay. I just didn't want it to be like. Like taking y'all out of the immersion of the game of what we're working on here. These skins probably have to be appreciated in the day. But damn, they look good. Ah. Honestly, if they could do the same thing for the T-Rexes. Oh, oh God. If the T-Rexes could get a Killian Mount so Mountains version, like the Buck with a Killian Mountains version. That will look so dope. Uh, Stegosaurus likes. Jesus. I forget. Uh, I think it's just these, right? Damn, what I mean? A Stegoceratops likes a mix of these? Things? To see, two, three, four, five, six. Acknowledging asset collection request. 
give me. Uh, I don't know why. I just don't have an appeal to want to use the zip line. I really don't. Put that there. Transportation underway. Damn, get over there. Commencing asset transit. Asset transportation. I'm going to go find out Scorpius has a luck skin too, huh? Ground fiber. That's what it was. Transportation underway. Hundred percent, but it might not stay that way. I hate to be a stegosaurus. On, I would hate to be in a stegosaurus on stegosaurus combat. Them dagomizers, so them dagomizers have to be one hit of quitters. I don't care how thick your hide is. The, the muscle behind the muscle needed to swing that tail. You have to have some thick hide just for that to not penetrate. No, oh, no, I agree with you. Provoking a sore pot is a death wish. And I bet you for that massive size, they can still get up and move. It'd be the equivalent of trying to run from an elephant. But I think an elephant could chase down a human in most, in most circumstances. They fine, all right? Yeah. Dexter strikes. A little bit more lenient. Oh yeah, 93 skin. Stegosaurus should have a unique attack with the Triceratops headbutt then turning into a Thagomizer tail swing. That's what they should have done. They didn't utilize it. Like in the, um, the first JWE, it would attack with his horns and then it would have a secondary attack with his tail. And then it would kill her um, carnivores by goring them with his horns. But with how intricate, like, certain herbivore kills have been in this game, like Dino Kyrus, for example, they really messed out on the chance to uh, replicate that here with Stegoceratops. So in this hybrid DLC, an Indominus and Indoraptor. Oh, okay. So Scorpius, no glow. I got it. Thank you, Miguel. I just go to further prove my point of how not special that. That's why we should not have it around.
want to know the best thing about these hybrids? What's that, Primal? Somebody hitting the fence. Spinosaurus, were you hitting the fence? Breakout target found. Who? What? What do you mean breakout target found? You need to chill, bro. Spinosaurus making a run for it. They can socialize with most of their genome. Really? That's actually interesting to know. So it's just not Spinal Raptor that can do it then. Which is a good thing because it would feel so one-sided if that was the case. Who is trying to break out? Somebody's trying to break out over there. Dab it. Please, dab it. <laughs> oh my god, that Spinosaurus is on the rampage over there. Breakout target found. So is it trying to eat the other dinosaurs? Is that why? Yeah, they're all content. They don't give a damn. These guys are trying to get over there. They're trying to eat them. <laughs> Should make an enclosure with the Plodocus and Ankylosaurus and put some Ankyloticus in there. Yeah, because all of them be able to mix. I could swear I saw the guy in the Jeep fall out. No, nah, you right there. Damn, you thought you was getting out the enclosure. Dude, you telling me that though, Primal? What I should do then? I should just get rid of this part of the fence then. And let them uh, enjoy it. Stegoceratops. Yeah, like Stegosaurus. And Ceratopsids. It, it dislikes Nazuto and Taurosaurus. Huh. Everything has theories. Oh. The fact that they still don't have defense is laughable. <gasps> Especially when you have dinosaurs in this game. <clears throat> 
that made the mission to make snacks out of her um, sauropods. So not letting them defend themselves is crazy. Because 100%, if you're going to hunt a sauropod, it's risk, but also reward. Yeah. You're right. Death Valley, Yukon, another Yukon, okay. Two Yukons. So I'm part of like hadrosaurs, but on a different level, yeah. When it comes to dinosaurs, well, when it comes to stocky herbivores, there really is no such thing as a defenseless uh, herbivore. Like, uh, a kick from a hadrosaur would break some bone. Like a well-placed kick to the leg? Yeah. You're not hunting no more after that. Oh, wow. Getting to see it run out. It hits different than watching it on, uh, than watching it from a YouTube video. Stegoceratops is a hybrid that was engineered to wow the masses. It has everything. The horns, the frill, the plates, the spikes. This is a creation straight from the brilliant mind and laboratory of Dr. Henry Wu. Always Dr. Mump Wu. Delivery complete. Okay, yeah. But I do like this. I do like this design of the Stegoceratops. <clears throat> I like this Stegoceratops design better than the one that's in Jurassic World Alive and better than the one they had in a Jurassic World movie. Like, you saw on that computer screen, you saw a model for Stegoceratops. I like this one better because it's, it feels more creative. Because it got these extra horns. Then you got the little the extra dorsal plating on the side. And I don't know what it is about Stegoceratops, but it just works. It just works as a hybrid. I don't even know what they like to eat. Heading to collect the asset. Ground fruit, ground fiber, same. Yeah, it makes sense. It's a mix. Makes sense. An attraction, Biosyn. There we go. Transit has commenced. Asset has been collected. There we go. That's what we're going to be using. For us, but you're on the safe side, and throw some here. Right here. That is not for us. Transportation complete. Asset delivered. Asset has been delivered. That's in ground fiber. You can see there's more over here. more to go to the other side. Where's that over there? Yeah, these... Stegoceratops was good, though. Now, what if we had a mono Stegoceratops with its JWA description? So, would that make it, like, um, 
hostile to other herbivores, dude? Come on. Y'all gonna lock on? Would that, would that look weird? That's about to find out. I don't know, that just looks fine. It's definitely an omnivore, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely an omnivore. Oh yeah, these guys eat... No, 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 spinal ceratops like this big. Okay, so this one we can make a big old enclosure for Ankyloticus. And they're going to need the space because sauropods. I'm gonna do the Plotticus first, just so we can get a understanding. Monostegatops has a monolophosaurus DNA, which pretty sure you wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of its horns or beak, right? And it and it has sharp teeth uh, instead of the its normal uh, grazers, don't it? All fruit, that's what it wants. All fruit. So I'll put that over here or There's a whole big stack of these. Interesting little divvy up I ended up doing with. I hope it works. <laughs> uh, I can delete this. I'm not going to need that.
Oh, you got to speed up, Primal. Flarkus gives me exact. Oh, that's how I felt in the first one. That's exactly how I felt in the first one. I got walking with dinosaur vibes. It felt like they took the model straight from that documentary. It got the it walks the same. It got the same little um spines along its vertebrae. As for the sounds, I can't remember if that's what they sounded like, but man, I get heavy walking with dinosaur um, vibes from looking at this model. I don't know why I did that. One, two, three, four. Asset to be collected. And then we're going to need some anchors. You know what? If I can get a bumpy. A JP3 Anki and a World Anki, that'll be great. That'll be absolutely great if I can get that mix. So we want a bumpy, a JP3 Anki and a World Anki. Let's do a killing in my Lulari. We're not going to rest until we get that holy combination. Bumpy. Bumpy. Eh, nah. We got the sky. We told you what we wanted. And by Jove, you're going to give that to us. Who's trying to break out again? Okay, Jay. Uh, World Anki? Ah. And then we got our whatchamacallit. That time we were one off. I appreciate it. Whoever's trying to break out, stop it. It's the Spinosaurus. It has to be the Spinosaurus. It's the Spinosaurus. And he's going back in. broke out just to go back in has been completed. they are weird okay damn it damn it oh my god they all killing in mountains that time <laughs> give me my holy trifecta uh-huh uh-huh damn Okay, I'm tired of trying. Give me that. And then a bumpy should be born from this batch. I'll just take that. Yep. Then we got a runner. <laughs> you saw the real world and went, nah. -uh. Yeah, uh, Spinal was like, you know what? Maybe captivity ain't so bad after all. Uh, 
kid yeah, they both did. I just wanted to make sure. Like that's crazy. And those spinos are definitely apex predators because they are trying to eat those spino raptors. And the spino no, I think they're trying to eat the velociraptors too. I think that's their main target. They're trying to eat the velociraptors. Oh dope, they're content. See, I like sword paws like the plot because they ain't hard to please. It's when you get to the higher tier ones like Brachiosaurus, Grantonis, and Mementosaurus. Do y'all remember how much of a pain in the ass Mementosaurus used to be? Or in challenge mode? Man. It was an instant pass for me every time. I think a lot of us to have a mix of both. So we should be like in luck there. Like tall fruit. And tall leaf. Huh. Tall fruit, tall leaf. The one I did, isn't that tall leaf? Isn't this tall leaf too? Oh man, hold on. That's tall leaf. Yeah, tall leaf, tall fruit. Okay. Woo. Woo. Yeah. Yeah. I got scared for a second there. A group of Ankyloticas. Yep, Matthias. Yep. Proceeds to kick your fences down because they don't have what they need. <laughs> At least when a soil pod does it, it's believable. When you see something like a Trawdon do it, you're like, ah. Uh... Like, what do you mean by that? <laughs> I need Calodicus. And the reason I say Ankyloticus is to stick with the name and term, you know, Diplodocus, Ankyloticus. Because really, I think it should be pronounced Ankylodocus because Ankylosaurus, you know, an well, it depends on how you want to say it. Because you can say Ankylosaurus or you can say Ankylosaurus. I remember growing up, I used to call it, I used to say Ankylosaurus because Anky. They come and do a video on that, on dinosaur name pronunciations. Just to see like the different ways people have said it over the years. That'd be an interesting little social project. Large carnivores need to make epic Complete. scenes when they break out. Spinosaurus needs its breakout animation redone. Wait, when it's about to break out. What it needs to do is get that run and start, like in JP3, smash right on through. It already got the its unique kill animation, which it should have, which should have been its uh, kill animation since the first game. So yeah, it needs that second one. It needs that custom um, breakout animation. Even if all the other carnivores don't get something that good, that it needs that. Oh, that place looks so much better. Look at that. You see how they zoomed in on the face? They want you to know. <laughs> they want you to know. This is not the same dinosaur that we uh, left behind three years ago. Well, six years ago now. Or whenever it debuted. I do. I appreciate this more stockier build, though. I think it reminds me of Omega Source. 
Or shooting source. One of those two. Take this Ankyloticus. Not only has it got a long, slender, whip-like tail, but check out the bulbous club at the end of it. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't go giving it a reason to take a swing at you, okay? And I agree, uh, Miguel. Bumpy Season 1 was adorable. But Season 2, Bumpy definitely shined when him and Ben took on Toro. Season three is where it should all stay, though. After season three is when they should have counted their losses. Transportation underway. On route to collect the asset. Didn't need five seasons. I'm finished season two. Yeah, can't miss much. It was a good season, I will say that. Because it, um, what's the word? It took from one of the novels. I can't remember which novel it was, but it might have been the Clara novel. Because in one of the Jurassic World books, they mentioned that, um, there was poaching going on on the islands. Basically on Isla Sorna. Confirming asset. I mean that post that post and I extended the you know, the two thousand fifteen incident. Make a Delta enclosure. We already got um, Spinosaurus on the other end, so we need to make Sinoceratops with Spinoceratops. How many feeders they'll need? Hopefully, just one. We got room for two, maybe three. No, just two. Wait, two, three. Room, okay. Sinoceratops, you like to eat. It like to move it, move it. It like to move it, move it. Ground fiber and a little bit of forest. Yeah, they're making a sequel show called um, Jurassic World Chaos Theory. And I'm guessing it takes place before Dominion. Or during the events of Dominion. I don't I don't know. All I know is it has Darius in it from Concretatius. And he's more older than um how he was in season, at the end of season five. 
So I guess that's just one of those we're just gonna have to wait and see. I'm just kind of scared of what they um do or allowed to be put in the show. It was ground fiber, right? Their decisions with that series were not the best. Guess you could say that they uh sour taste in my mouth. Are you two trying to eat? Oh my god, they're trying to eat them again. They're about to break through. Social animation. Social activity. God damn, why is the Spinosaurus so persistent? Breakout target. Why do y'all want to eat these guys so bad? What did they do to y'all? They're not even fish. That has to be the mega therapod in them. That has to be the mega therapy. Mm. Spinals have there's been haters since day three. You need to help me get out of there, it's behind you. That's pretty, pretty nice. Rebel and Angel, damn, they don't get luck skins. Makes sense, you know, from the much more video. Ground fiber, fish. Making good, we're making good head in here. All right, boys, put on the sleep. We're gonna take him to the next island. Um, I mean, we can go with her. <laughs>
heading to pick up the asset. Silo so said turns low key underrated. I feel like I, I can agree. I do like his design for what it is. Especially knowing that it was originally supposed to be a Pecky Rhinosaurus before they decided to uh, go with that model instead. Oh my god. Oh, you making a run run for it now. You know what I realized? That I didn't put a um uh, one of those down. Oops. I done goofed. And it goes to sleep. Asset has been transported. I like how the other Spinosaurus isn't trying to break out. Wait, it's because you don't have the intelligence trait, do you? No, you do. It, you, you just don't care. That's a good trait to have, not care. Alright, let's take a look at these guys. Spinosaurus, uh, the Spinoceratops is just massive. That has to be the Spinosaurus DNA. Just getting a free funnel. <laughs> Something a little different. A Spinoceratops. Here we have a hybrid that's more than likely living in colder climates, but uh, I'm still counting on you to give it a warm welcome, huh? So far, I'm still liking Spino Raptors um, luck skin the most. This one is like a close second though because I like how the designs along the sail on this back look. I'm curious about Endoms though. <laughs> Come on, I can get them. There we go. Asset to be collected. You like ground leaf? Oh, wow. I didn't know they like ground leaf, too. Another missing open space. But at least they're content. I really want to check on these guys. Oh yeah, hundred percent done good. Yeah, this new stockier build is a lot better. More believable. You know what this thing gives me um para survives, like it looks like a parasaratherium. Must be the leader. No. Okay, no four the leader. Yeah, it's like definitely double the size. Definitely look at that. Definitely double the size. Ooh 
I'm starting to feel the sleep take me now. Up in the last hole. Chaos Theory, you thought Chaos Theory was something else? Nah, -uh. it's the sequel to um, the other one, the Camp Contagious. It's going from CC to CT. Oh, you been reading the Claire novel? How is it? How is the Claire novel, by the way? That's interesting seeing them lock horns when they really can't. <laughs> this one over here, like, yeah, why y'all do that? I'm gonna get my munch on. This one got his priority straight. Yeah, so we succeeded in getting the first four hybrids out. Now we just got three more to go. Hmm. But I don't think I'm going to split that into tomorrow's stream or something. Yeah, tomorrow's stream. We're not doing that tomorrow. So, with that being said, we'll have to pick this up tomorrow. That way I have a little bit more energy to finish this. I am bushed and beat. With that being said, uh, uh, <laughs> with that being said, I appreciate y'all for joining the stream and bringing the good conversations and everything. It's been Super King Adora saying now if y'all haven't, you need to hit that sub button because when you hit the sub button, it unlocks the notification bell. And then when you unlock the notification bell, you gotta, you gotta, ding, you gotta, you gotta touch it, right? And it's gonna, it's gonna go ding, 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 ding. It's gonna make this cool little awesome sound that lets you know everything that I'm doing. That way I can catch you all in the next stream tomorrow. With that being said, I'll be catching y'all tomorrow. Good night, Miguel. Good night, Prime on everybody. I'll be catching y'all next time. Peace, everybody.